This Spotlight on Long-Term Care is sponsored by Standard Life and Accident Insurance Company, serving the insurance needs of seniors for more than 50 years. For more information, please visit slaico.com. The majority of Americans who purchased long-term care insurance policies last year selected limited duration products, according to the American Association for Long-Term Care Insurance, or AALTCI. Data gathered on 153,000 new policies purchased in 2010 found that 57.1% of purchasers favored policies with a benefit period of four years or less, up from 52.2% in 2008, the AALTCI said. According to director Jesse Sloan, quote, Limited duration policies continue to become the preferred choice of many consumers who benefit from their lower cost and are willing to assume some of the risk for a catastrophic long-term care event." Unquote. He added that the popularity of more affordable plans is understandable given recent economic events. Overall, LTCI sales increased in 2010, as did the average age of buyers. Approximately 80.7% of buyers were under age 65, compared with 84% in 2008, the AALTCI said. 56% of buyers purchased coverage between the age of 55 and 64, while three-quarters of individual long-term care insurance policies were purchased by couples, according to the research. The cost of long-term care continues to rise, though not as quickly as that of some goods and services, according to a new report from John Hancock Financial. The average cost for a private nursing home bed rose 3.5% in 2011 to $85,775 annually, the report said. The average cost for a semi-private nursing home room rose 3.2% to $75,555. In comparison, the U.S. gasoline index has risen 27.5% during the past year, while the food at home index has increased 3.6%, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The average cost for an assisted living facility rose 3.4% to $39,240, while the cost of a home health aid rose 1.3% to an average of $37,440, John Hancock said. The report surveyed over 11,000 U.S. LTC providers and calculated a nine-year average based on, on data gathered from several of John Hancock's cost of care surveys. A federal proposal that would reduce Medicare funding by as much as 11.3% could spell trouble for nursing homes, according to some in the industry. Last week, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, announced it is considering either cutting provider payment by nearly $4 billion or providing $530 million in increases from the applications of the 2010 Market Basket Index of 2.7%. But many critics in the healthcare industry believe the cuts are too high and argue that milder reductions should be applied. According to long-term care trade group Leading Age, the move could provide, quote, opportunities and obstacles for America's nursing homes. According to a statement from Leading Age, quote, a reduction of that amount would severely harm the ability of many homes to provide the quality of care their residents deserve. Nursing homes that have not abused the benefit should not be penalized for this increase, unquote. For more industry spotlights, visit producersweb.com.